Hey there, RecTech family. Chef Greg here with you at RecTech World Headquarters in Augusta, Georgia. We're bringing you some dips and, and tailgating ideas because football season started and there's no better way to, to start off a tailgate than some good Charleston shrimp dip. So we've got about a pound of uh, uh, shrimp here. The shells are on. I like to smoke the shrimp in the shell. I think the, the shrimp come out um, a little uh, better texture to them and you still get some great flavor. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take about a tablespoon of olive oil and then about a tablespoon of my favorite screaming pig rub. I think it goes good on everything. And we'll go ahead and doctor these up. We've got the RT300 set at 225. And we'll let these smoke for about 25 minutes or so. Now the shrimp um, should be cooked at that point. They'll be really soft. And since these are easy peel shrimp, they'll basically pull right off the uh, shell. I'm using the nonstick grill mat. I think it gives you a... Uh, ease just to pick everything up, load it right on the grill. So next in this recipe, again, it's super simple. I've got eight ounces of cream cheese. It's at room temperature. It's really, really good and soft. To that, we're going to add about a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. And if you can't say it, woo woo sauce works too. About a half a teaspoon of hot sauce, any hot sauce that you like. Tasty. A tablespoon of garlic. Again, go after the garlic in the tube. Uh, avoid the stuff with the water. The one in the water is a little bit bitter. We'll add the juice of a lemon. And again, if you really want to bump this up a notch, you can zest the rind of that lemon in there. That would be fantastic. We're also going to add about a half a cup of scallions. Again, you can prep this ahead, make it the day before, bake it off, and then we'll add about a half a cup of diced celery as well. So all we'll do is we'll mix this up and when those shrimp are peeled and we'll give those a rough chop, we'll mix those in and then all we gotta do is bake that off until it's bubbly. It'll probably take about 20 minutes at 350 to do. So again, our shrimp have about 20 more minutes and we'll be in business. All right, so our shrimp is smoked. We've taken them off, we've gotten them peeled. We're gonna go ahead and rough chop them. And again, since we're cutting these up, you don't have to buy the biggest, most expensive shrimp because you are cutting them and it's a great way to serve shrimp, which is kind of expensive, uh, serve it to everybody and everybody gets that, that flavor. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our shrimp into our mixture here, okay? And then one thing we forgot to add earlier was some horseradish sauce. Now if you like it spicier, you can add a little more, you can add a little less. We're gonna fold all of that together. So that cream cheese, the Worcestershire sauce, Smells amazing. We're going to get that back into our casserole dish. And again, you can use a nicer one, but again, we're tailgating, so these are going to go in the trash when we're done, while we're watching the game. Spread that out. And again, this will only take about 20, 25 minutes at 350. So we'll go ahead and get on the 680. So here we have it, our Charleston shrimp dip is, is off the grill. It's looking delicious. Buddy Ben here is gonna give it a shot. So we've got our smoked shrimp. It's good and hot, so watch the roof of your mouth. We put some Razarusi's uh, rub, rub on the shrimp, smoked them for about a half an hour, mixed them in the, uh, with the mayonnaise, cream cheese, a little Old Bay spice. That's hot, but that's Pretty amazing. tasty. So to take this up a notch, a little sherry in there would be fantastic. And as this gets cold, it tastes even better. So bring it out in your next uh, 
tailgate party and, and serve some shrimp to your friends. You'll be really popular if you do. This is amazing. Thanks, Brad.